Hi, and welcome back to the Food Fund, where we analyze investing in food stocks. If you love food and love buying food stocks, beverage stocks, and restaurant stocks, you will love this channel. In this video we will be analyzing if McDonald's stock is a buy. McDonald's stock ticker symbol MCD is just one of many companies we explore on this channel. If you are new here, our goal is to help you put your money where your mouth is and invest in the best food companies. We have a lot to cover so let's go ahead and jump right in. Cue the logo. Let's start with some background info on McDonald's. McDonald's was founded in 1940 by Richard and Morris McDonald. They would later revamp the business into a burger stand. The company expanded via franchising and also incorporated a lucrative real estate business through 70% ownership of restaurant buildings and 45% ownership of the underlying land. Today McDonald's is the world's largest fast food restaurant chain with locations in more than 100 countries. Their best sellers, French fries and the Big Mac, can be had by their more than 69 million daily customers around the world. They are headquartered in Chicago, Illinois and employ around 150,000 people making McDonald's the second largest private employer in the world. Now let's look at the price action. Starting with the 1 year chart we see that McDonald's had a cager of about 5%. Zooming out to the 5 year chart we see that McDonald's had a cager of 9%. McDonald's share price has grown steadily over time. This is what we like to see. If we perform a backtest comparison of investing $10,000 in McDonald's versus the S&P 500 we find some interesting results. In that comparison with the S&P 500, $10,000 invested in McDonald's would have grown to $18,854 or a 11.3% cager versus $18,848 or a 11.3% cager if invested in the S&P 500. Essentially McDonald's performs hand in hand with the S&P 500. A McDonald's investment would have been slightly more volatile with a 19% standard deviation versus 18% for the S&P 500. McDonald's also underperformed the S&P 500 in terms of the best year performance for which McDonald's grew 28% versus S&P 500 31% but outperformed worst year performance where McDonald's gained 1% versus S&P 500 18% fall. In terms of max drawdown McDonald's fell just 23% while the S&P 500 fell 24%. And surprisingly, McDonald's also had very similar values for the Sharpe ratio and the Sortino ratio when compared with the S&P 500. Now let's hop over to market share and take a look at McDonald's market share. So we come over here and type in the ticker symbol for McDonald's and see that the market share is 2.8% out of the publicly traded food, beverage, and restaurant stocks currently in the market. This means that 2.8% of all eating spend goes to McDonald's. The 5 year market share cager for McDonald's is minus 3%. This means that McDonald's market share declines about 3% per year or 0.1 percentage points of market share. If we start in 2019 we see that the market share was 3.1%, 2.8% in 2020, 2.9% in 2021. 2.7% in 2022, and 2.8% over the trailing 12 months. If the current trends continues I would expect to see McDonald's have a 2.5% market share in 2025 or 2026. Could the menu at McDonald's perceived as less healthy be driving customers to spend elsewhere? Let's take a look at the fundamentals. Gross margin is a healthy 57%. This is on par with many fast food restaurant chains. Revenue has compounded at around 3% over the past 5 years and has reached over $25 billion most recently. This is decent revenue growth, but clearly not enough to maintain market share. Looking at cash flow we see a 6% cager over the last 5 years for operating cash flow, while CapEx has improved at a 5% cager. As a result free cash flow has actually grown at a 12% cager. This is great news. The company is generating more and more cash flow and spending less and less on capex. 
This is a hallmark of great companies. Weighted average shares outstanding have fallen dramatically over the last 5 years, going from 786 million shares in 2018 to 734 million shares most recently. McDonald's has been buying back a lot of shares. In fact, the share count decreases by about 1% per year. This makes shareholders very happy, and given the strong free cash flow I expect their share buybacks to continue. Now let's view return on invested capital. Return on invested capital has fallen from 22.6% in 2018 to 20.5% in 2023. While the return on invested capital has fallen during this period the lowest value occurred in 2020 and has steadily risen since then. I believe McDonald's will continue to improve efficiency in driving profits from its investments. Another favorite metric is cash conversion cycle, a measure of operational efficiency regarding supplier and payer leverage as well as inventory control. Going from 3 days in 2018 to 4 days most recently, McDonald's has gotten a little less efficient over time. However, 4 days is not a high value and is just about the average value for the period of 3.5. Ideally we would like to see a value under 0 but 4 days is acceptable. Now, let's look at McDonald's's debt. The net debt to EBITDA has fallen from its high over the past 5 years, going from 4.5 in 2020 to 3.1 most recently. McDonald's's debt level is not prohibitive and continues to fall. Again the strong free cash flow growth means that the company will be able to continue to pay down debt for the foreseeable future. Last, let's explore dividends. Current dividend yield is a fair 2.34% with a dividend payout percentage of 53.24%. That is a healthy payout ratio. The $6.08 dividend per share for this company means the dividend has grown at a 6.7% dividend per share cage are over the past 3 years and an 8.5% dividend per share cage are over the past 5 years. McDonald's's dividend payments have consistent and growing offering the best of both worlds for dividend investors. The fundamentals of McDonald's are pretty good. In any event, should it be added to the portfolio? Before sharing my final thoughts on that, please click the like button and let YouTube know that you like the content. Subscribe and click the notification bell to make sure you catch the latest videos. Your continued support means so much to the food fund. Now, let's get into my final thoughts. Okay, let's go to the spreadsheet and write out some key values for McDonald's. It is a restaurant company with a gross margin of 57%. The 5 year revenue per share cager is 5% and the 5 year free cash flow per share cager is 13%. A return on invested capital of 21% and continues to grow. Next, the cash conversion cycle of 4 days is not bad. Concerning debt, a net debt to EBITDA of 3.1 means that it would take McDonald's a little over 3 years of EBITDA to pay back their debt. So from a fundamental standpoint, McDonald's very strong. Now let's switch our attention over to valuation. McDonald's is fairly valued relative to the S&P 500 with a ratio of 1. The price to earnings growth, or PEG ratio, is 2.6 indicating that McDonald's is mildly overvalued relative to their projected earnings growth. Even though McDonald's has grown revenue over the past 5 years their market share has actually decreased. Less and less people are choosing to spend their money at McDonald's to satisfy their hunger. However the company appears to already be working on this problem. Cosmix is a new restaurant concept that McDonald's has been secretly preparing from some time. Cosmix seems to offer a unique menu of all day breakfast, coffee and frappuccino like drinks, as well as teas, lemonades, slushies, and traditional sodas. And though no official news reports have stated this I kind of think Cosmix would be a wonderful home for McDonald's expanded deal with Krispy Kreme. I think of Cosmix as going after the Starbucks and Dunkin Donuts customer and believe the new concept may begin eat the market share of the other two. Aside from the currently slipping market share at McDonald's, the company is an expertly run business with steadily growing free cash flow. The strength of this growth has allowed the company to raise the dividend, buy back shares, and pay down debt, all while losing market share. This is a testament to strong management and business strategy. McDonald's is a great company and is fairly valued to just slightly overvalued in my opinion. If they can restart revenue growth McDonald's will continue to be a juggernaut investment. This fine thing is going on the watch list. Many thanks for watching. 
What do you think about McDonald's and their new concept restaurant cast mix? Please share your thoughts below. It is always great to hear from you. Please check out some more videos right now and don't forget to put your money where your mouth is.